Welcome everybody. Thank you so much for joining me on today's extension of our gift call where we are really looking at transforming our relationship with our body and transforming the ways in which we look at our bodies as a source of problem, whether it is the disease, whether it is the weight. So anything and everything that is coming up for you, if you would like to share in the group for me to address, uh, or rather you can just share it in the chat, I think it's easier. Then just please put it in and then we can directly begin. Okay, so closing your eyes, forming a deep connection with your bodies. Taking a deep breath in, breathing in and breathing out gently. Breathing in one more time and breathing out one last time. In and out. What is possible for me to create with my body that I have never considered possible before? And everything that is, I now discern and create it right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, online shots, boys, covards, and beyonds. So, this statement, especially for Amanda, this is a part of the access consciousness theory statement. Shogi Nidhi, I'm sure, is familiar with it by now. You can look it up on www.clearingstatement.com. If not, you can always reach out to me and I can share more details. So uh, one thing that I want each one of us to understand that there is something unique that is possible for you with your body, which cannot be generalized. You know, like... Most of the plans, whether it is a diet plan, whether it is a exercise regime, whether it is a treatment plan for any of our illnesses, which is administered by doctors, most of such things are very generic. And it's like a blanket kind of a thing where doctors, uh, therapists, nutritionists, diet or weight consultants, weight loss consultants try to put us under that, okay, if this is what you've come for or if you are complaining of so-and-so symptom, then this is the mode of treatment. And if you are looking to lose weight, then you definitely must go off sugar and you should go off gluten. You should possibly try and restrict your junk food intake, etc., etc. Very, very common stuff, which all of us have uh, heard from various sources. I'm sure like it's all done to death for us. So that's the way in which this reality has entrained us to look at things related to our bodies. And most people offer solutions the basis of such very generic preconceived blanket rules and ideas and you know like plans but there is something unique that is available for you and your body and that is possible for you and your body exclusively which is not relevant to somebody else's body you know, and there cannot be one blanket rule for everybody. That is something that, uh, you know, I was just talking to somebody today and I was also sharing this with her that which is precisely why uh, whether a weight loss journey, whether a journey of transforming illness to good health and wellness needs to be very personalized. Like the reason why this 21 days journey 
that we are beginning on Sunday is very personalized where I will be working with everybody individually and setting their goals and targets according to where they are and how their body functions and what works for them, what doesn't, etc. So it can't be like a set of to-dos and a to-do list as well as a not to-do list that is shared with everyone and that's applicable for everyone and that needs to be followed blindly and you know that's how change takes place. It, it has to be uniquely curated because while it may be true that true for somebody that sugar is horrible and it's uh, causing harm to his or her body, it may also be true that there are times when my body genuinely needs sugar. So not everybody functions in the different way, you know, you know, in the same way, and not everybody needs to follow the same rules. So everywhere we are refusing to tap into the unique capacities of our body, are we now ready to destroy an uncreated right? Strong, good, bad, pop, pop, online shots, boys, covats, and bonds. What is unique about my body and what is possible for my body from that space of acknowledging how unique it is? And everything that doesn't allow me to perceive, know, be, and receive that, I destroy an uncreated, right? Strong, good, bad, pop, pop, online shots, boys, covats, and beyonds. So, you know, like, I really want all of us to become aware of and just get present to what is actually possible for you with your body. What are the kind of things that you could achieve with your body? What are the possibilities that you have exclusively with your body, which is not on the basis of what you have read about, what you heard about, what you are... Uh, told by others. It's not on the basis of that. It's just tapping into your unique knowing and awareness. I really want all of us to just tap into that. Perhaps you have that capacity of just losing weight, doing nothing, but just by being happy. Maybe that's how it works for you. You have this capacity of becoming healthy by perhaps engaging in a lot of play, in slowing down, in not doing anything. You know, maybe that is what is required. So how different and unique are you which you've not chosen to acknowledge about you? And therefore, from that space of uniqueness, are you now ready to go beyond the logical linear way? And the logical linear way is dictated by this reality in terms of what should and what shouldn't happen. But are you now ready to trust your way, which needn't be sanctioned or validated by anybody else? And everything that doesn't allow you to do that will you destroy and create it right wrong with that, what wrong online shots, boys, poets, and beyonds what is possible for you and your body that you have never considered possible before and everything that is let's just join and create it right from good back pop pop online shots boys and beyonds yes Shohi thank you so much for sharing that you know that is a super power that you have right you do things just like that you had to do nothing so times uh, we overemphasize the importance of doing something, you know, like of taking those right actions and doing, 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 this has to be done, that has to be done. And then we fret when we are not able to do it, when we are not doing it. But at times it is really about just being a certain energy. And uh, like you rightly said, and in such cases, you really do not have to do anything and you can just shift and change. So, what will it take for me to tap into that unique capacity that I have with my body? 
So I just want you to close your eyes. Connect to your body. And allow your hands to reach any part of the body that is calling out to you. Any part of the body that is calling out to you tonight. Okay, just allow your hand to reach that part. Awesome. And once you reach that part, connect to that part and ask yourself, body show me, what is the unique superpower that you have that nobody else has, that nobody else knows, that nobody else needs to know. Just take a few seconds to tap into that energy. Awesome. Thank you, body, for that awareness. And everywhere you've been hiding the superpower, You've been in denial of the superpower. Are you now ready to own, claim, and acknowledge that? And nobody else needs to know. It is your superpower. It is for you to keep. If you try to convince others, then there are chances that you will get the solution because they will try to convince you how you're wrong, how you're overthinking, how you're delusional. It's not for you to convince anyone. It's just for you to know. I own and claim all of the superpower that I have with my body tonight. I own and claim all of the superpowers that I have with my body right now. I step into my superpower. I step into my superpower with my body. I own, claim, and acknowledge the superpower that I have with my body. I own, claim, and acknowledge the superpower that I am with my body. I own, claim, and acknowledge the superpower that I create with my body. And everything that doesn't allow you to be that to stay with that energy, to act on it. You know, at times it doesn't look linear at all. It doesn't look like it should look like. It is very random. It's not related. And we are going to talk a lot about this and go further into this conversation during our 31 days journey. But just for you to know that it's, it's very different from how we imagine or think it to be. You know, it could be, it need not be like something massive for the world. It could be something simple like your body heals when you make those funny faces. You know how uh, as kids we would make faces, we would stick our tongue out and you know, we would make these, those weird faces. So perhaps it could also be that that's how your body heals. So it's not related. It's not linear there is no logical correlation so all the form structure logic reasoning that you've got into that keeps you from having infinite and magical possibilities with your body will you now give all of that up Right, wrong, good, bad, for talk, online shots, boys, covats, and beyonds. All of the form, structure, conditioning, control, logic, reasoning that keeps me from having infinite and magical possibilities with my body. I now just try and it. Right, wrong, good, bad, for talk, online shots, boys, covats, and beyonds. What energy space consciousness can I be to be out of control, out of linearity, out of form, out of structure, 
out of concentricity for all eternity. And everything that is, I now restrain and create it. Right, wrong, good, bad, of the fallen shirts, boys, towards and beyonds. I'm going to leave you with that tonight. Just become aware of this. Stay with this. Own and claim that superpower, that little nudge, that little awareness that you've received now. And however much it may seem stupid, it may seem ridiculous, it may seem unrelated, it may seem like I am totally whacked out of my head to be even talking about these as superpowers. It's okay. Give yourself the chance to explore and then see what magic shows up. Okay, thank you everybody. Good night. I shall see you all tomorrow. That's day seven. That's our last call. But of course, I'm going to see a lot of you hopefully on Sunday and Sunday onwards for the 31 days journey. Thank you, everybody. Good night. We can stop the recording. If anybody wants to ask or share anything, you can just unmute or you can put it in the room. Yes, Shoi Bibi.